start. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome back to the uh, video series on the appointment scheduling module. Uh, right. So this part is about managing appointments. Uh, in part one and two, we covered how to create services, how to create and edit appointments against the services, uh, view them across different uh, views of calendar and list view. Um, we also saw how to search for a patient's appointments and how to apply filters across uh, these different views. So let's move ahead and look at part three, uh, where uh, we will be managing the appointments and changing their statuses. So here I'm on the homepage of Gomni. Uh, I click on the appointment scheduling app. I go to the appointments list tab. And here I have the list and the calendar view. Let's go to the list view and see how we can manage appointments. Um, so on this particular day, I have these two appointments. Um, so the moment I click on them, um, I see a few actions here. So these are the actions that are permitted for this particular appointment. Uh, what actions are available here uh, is a configuration. Uh, you can set up what buttons show up on the UI and what actions can be performed by the user. Uh, more information about that can, can be found in the uh, implementer's guide. Say for example, uh, coming back to this appointment, we have uh, an appointment for this patient on 7th of December, that's today, uh, between 11 and 11, 10 p.m., right? And it's in the scheduled state. So when I click on it, I can either check in or mark the appointment as complete. Um, say I check in the appointment. Uh, what this essentially means that I am uh, confirming that this patient has come to the uh, particular clinic for the appointment. Um, I can choose to enter uh, a time now, which is the current time that is picking up, or I can choose to enter some time in the past because probably I am checking the patient in at a later time. Um, but I have that flexibility of entering something in the past. Say I check the patient came in at, came in at 5 p.m. Once I do that, I save it and I get a success message saying that this patient has been checked in. Uh, so if I now scroll here and see my status has changed to checked in. Um, there's an option of undo the check-in. Say I had checked in the patient by mistake, a, a wrong patient. I can still go and do an undo check-in, uh, which will ask me to confirm. So right now I'm not going to do that. Um, I can mark an appointment as complete. I can click on it and mark it as complete. Say that uh, the patient has completed the consultation with the doctor. Say, and then I can mark it as complete. Now, if you see here, the appointment status has changed to complete. So um, these are some of the actions that you can do on the um, uh, list view. Uh, similarly, on the calendar view as well, you have uh, uh, the list of uh, the, you can see the appointments for a particular day and uh, instead of seeing the uh, actions on bottom of the page uh, what difference is here the difference here is that you click on it and you see the actions on a pop-up instead uh, the actions work in exactly the same way uh, that the list view does um, the only thing that is different in a calendar view is that uh, when there are multiple patients in a slot, uh, the pop-up looks slightly different. So let us try and create that. Uh, for example, on uh, the 8th of December, under Dr. Varsha Kumari, we have uh, two patients booked. I'm going to book another patient here. Um, I'm going to click on Add New Appointment, which is going to pick up the same slot information as this uh, patient here. I'm going to book another patient here for... Um, say I book a uh, connect test and I am booking this patient for a diabetes service for an initial assessment. Uh, I'm going to let the same slot be there and I'm going to save. Right. Um, I'm also going to now uh, so this is the appointment that we've just created. I'm going to click on it and add another appointment here uh, for say Shakti Man and for the same service. 
uh, against the same doctor and the same slot. And I'm also going to do this also as a follow up, sorry, as an initial assessment. And I save it. Uh, this gives me the same warning that we had uh, discussed in the earlier video about having overlapping appointments. Uh, I'm going to proceed and save in this case. So if you see here, uh, when there are multiple uh, patients booked into the exactly same slot uh, for the same service, um, you would see the names coming as comma separated. Clicking on it, uh, this pop-up looks different from the earlier uh, pop-ups uh, because now I will have to select a patient from the drop-down from for whom I would like to perform any action. Say I want to take it, I want to perform an action for Shakti Man. I click and select that patient, and then I do the action that I would want to do. Uh, I could go to the other patient and then I could do the remaining set of actions. So that's the difference between uh, the list view and calendar view. When you have multiple patients booked into the exactly same slot, um, then you would have to first choose the patient and perform the necessary action. Uh, rest all the other actions are exactly same as that of the list view. Uh, the other thing I would like to point out is some indications that you would see on uh, the uh, calendar view. Uh, on the list view, you would see them here under the status column, uh, whether they are cancelled or completed. Um, here, we visually indicate uh, an appointment, whether it is uh, completed, then it would show a tick. Uh, say, if I uh, cancel it, it will no longer show. Uh, if I check it in, I could, I would see another different indication here. Uh, since they're overlapping, I'm not able to see it. Uh, let's probably do it for another. Um, say, okay, for example, here on the 6th of December, I have uh, an appointment for this patient, which this indication, this indication is an indication that it is missed. So we have such visual indications on the calendar view um, to show the status of an appointment. Stop. So that was all about uh, managing appointments. Um, if you want more information, uh, refer to these links here. Uh, so the first one is our documentation page where you can uh, get more comprehensive information about uh, the uh, using the application and configuring it. Uh, you can refer to our uh, demo links uh, where you can play around with the application and you can also uh, reach out to us on various forums if you have any questions, doubts or clarifications. Um, so you can reach out to us on OpenMRS Talk uh, under the Bumni channel. Similarly, you can also reach out to us or ping us on the uh, community channel uh, on Bummy Slack. Thank you.